Welcome back. So this will be uh, sort of a two-part uh, video. Uh, first will be just a quick assembly of the dust extractor and then I'll walk you through, make a sort of a, a shop tour. So off we go. Okay, so the dust extractor is now all put together. So it's a uh, Axminster uh, AW153E, um, I believe, uh, with I bought the additional cartridge instead of a bag filter. And uh, I gotta say, uh, this thing is a beast. So we'll get to that a little bit later as well. So what I've done here, uh, I removed all of my original ducting which I had and uh, uh, 
uh, what I've done is so this is all one pipe up to here so two meters of it and then I have a Y split here so I use this for just open it uh, I can plug my cleaning hose so I have it conveniently stored behind the bench here and I can fit that in. This is all <laughs> down to earth, uh, rugged, uh, put together, but it holds an air extremely well. Um, so that's all good. So if I need to clean the shop and just for you to see this dust here is all glued in pretty much, uh, but this is the cleanest the shop was ever. So back to here so i have this plug this is original pipe pipe plug so this is a drain uh piping duct uh it's actually 110 mil so it's not completely four inches so it's a little bit bigger so that's why i have these weird uh adapters and everything here as well uh so i've opted to these are 245s uh elbows or 22 and a half not sure don't call i believe it's two uh, tw uh, 22 and a half um and it's a soft curve and uh, this bracket is uh, like you see already in that uh way so uh, there is no restriction of it and um here i have a uh, for now at least uh set up for uh bensa and uh, i can clean with this hose as well if i need to but this guy hooks up here which i'll show you a bit later as well so uh, uh back to the dust extractor uh this is two horsepower units so uh one and a half kilowatts uh so so far uh, i'm quite pleased now in the intro you may saw uh, this barrel um i did put this together so this is a separator this is a kit that you can buy i bought this from the axminster um which by the way uh i paid for the dust extractor uh after uh, the order order and everything i did get five percent off so that's that done so i'm not uh, connected to them by any means um but i did order as well that uh kit which uh, for the separator and it works great uh but what i've noticed is when i hook this to the, to this barrel it actually reduces by 20 even 30 percent suction and um this would be great if I'm doing a lot of uh, jointing, planing and stuff like that. Uh, so all the major chips, shavings and everything would go into this and none of it into dust extractor. Uh, but um, after a lot of uh, talking with uh, my mentor Richard uh, back and forth about his collection and, um, and what I can do to improve, in my situation um, this is what i've come up with and just get rid of the uh, dust uh, from the separator sorry um, and i mean I'll, I'll show you especially on the bands what happens when this thing is hooked up so um, okay let's start from this side as a shop tour so this is the record power 8 inch grinder which i did get uh, as a as a gift for videos uh, from toby slovenia and it's it's a lovely thing it's it runs smooth and uh, this cbn is 100 grit and this is i believe 60 grit so i don't i don't use and i don't need anything finer than that um just as i'm here i'll try to get all of this the, the picture will be slightly uh, off because i'm at the wide uh, angle lens 
Uh, so this is all of the balls I have here. Uh, very state of drying. Uh, most of them are uh, pretty well to go. Uh, 400 and something of them. Um, uh, here I have s different jigs, uh, mostly for the first laid I had. Uh, so I never got those old orders again, so they're just waiting. Uh, other bits and pieces, all of the small stuff that you are going to need. And this part here is actually uh, my storage for the dry stock, like uh, 80 mil uh, thickness, uh, 550 uh, mil thickness boards and everything like that. Uh, usually I'm now I'm as you, as you can see quite low on that, so I need to go out and uh, buy some more. Uh, this is my old extractor. This will probably go to my father-in-law. Uh, it will be great for him for um, something uh, at the table saw and stuff like that, or at least cleaning. Um, and this this uh, beast behemoth here uh, this is uh, not sure on the English what it's called uh, this piece is I'll put up on, on the screen so this will be uh, a big post actually um, uh, what's it called like a, a negative of um, concrete post and I'm doing the, the negative <laughs> part part of it so I'm just waiting for the bed extension for the lathe so I can turn that for the for the client uh, microwave the old one here are mostly finishes and electric power tools the, the regular ones uh, obviously stereo you gotta have the stereo in the shop uh, it's completely hot in here so the fan is running all the time uh, a pillar drill, uh, drill press, whatever it's called, in a different part of the region of the world. So other hand tools uh, and such, which uh, are conveniently stored here because I don't use them all, all, take it all that much. Here you can see I got uh, various bowls that are cracked or some of the prototypes and such. Here are numerous uh, spindle blanks, boards, ball blanks, small, big. Um, so everything is crammed in there to, to be dried. Uh, same here, I forgot to show you. Here is mostly in this, all of this uh, rectangle here is apple. Uh, here by the entrance, uh, this is extremely important so all of the from the time that i did kitchens for uh, for clients um so i got still left of uh, the melamine boards the plywood and such so you always have to keep those at hand for uh, when the wife needs a shelf or something like that so that's pretty much the important stuff here so this is my uh bandsaw uh this is the record power saber 350 excellent machine uh, I don't have at least for now any complaint at all for, uh, on it and um, I did uh, maybe have a complaint about the the suction uh, port the dust port uh, because notoriously on the Bensa um, dust extraction isn't that gr uh, great but once I hooked up this thing I mean this thing is zero dust I could even manage to finally clean this part here so this is where I keep uh, all the papers manuals and uh, uh, all that stuff from all of my machines this was all covered in uh, in fine dust even with the record power dust extractor um, this was full and then I was able to clean it and uh, I was using the bandsaw for a few minutes and uh, none of the dust uh, was here as you can see and actually I'll show you uh, now what happens when I hook this up uh, to dust extractor 
okay I just refit this uh, connected to the bandsaw and uh, this is far from perfect uh, so this is quite a uh, let's say right angle to bend but even with that so I just need to plug this is already plugged and uh, for this I have this little thing uh, which is also uh, inspired by Richard Raffen uh, but I need to turn on the dust extract now watch happen now watch what happens with this this all is now airflow So never uh, with any extractor that I had, even with a two horsepower uh, record power unit, the CAMVAC. Um, so the doors, <laughs> no, you'll see actually when I pop this open, this will pretty much stay where it is. Uh, that noise was that uh, dust port thing, the plywood fell off. So you can see it just stays here and uh, with the suction it wants to close the door and everything here uh, reeks of uh, airflow so everything you, you feel a lot of air being moved and um, like i said i did a few minutes of cutting the dmdf and uh, none of the dust was inside so i'm extremely thrilled by that like I said, this is far from perfect junction. I'll deal with this a little bit later, but for now I have a lot of orders that I need to uh, do and uh, still waiting on the bed extension. So that needs to be uh, done and up and running and uh, then I can sort everything out. I might uh, build a little cubby, put the wall and enclose this uh, just to make a little bit less noise. Uh, maybe do a little bit of insulation, uh, but I need to sort out the switch. The switch is now currently uh, at the wall side here, which is not ideal. It's far from perfect and it's the two button thing so uh, similar like like on this so there is no switch on it uh, so That's a bummer, but I'll work with that when I get to, to that point um, the other thing is to to know is the extractor came with a UK plug and uh, we have the uh, European type plug so my dear wife uh, went out and uh, bought me this uh, travel adapter and uh, this one is rated for I believe 4000 watts yeah so plenty of uh, buffer zone on that one When I tried the record power unit that I uh, was given, uh, I did make, I did uh, build a hood, if you remember that video. Um, it worked sort of fine, but uh, as you see now, I'll show you a clip of when I'm sanding and when I'm uh, sanding without the extractor.
this is just for comparison without any dust extraction okay so uh, first uh, I did make uh, because it was much easier uh, to do I made the port on the bottom here uh, but uh, as the Richard pointed out you can easily lose stuff in there uh, many shavings would go inside so I did bring this up ideally um, I would have it a little bit lower uh, but I have a from the lathe inverter here so I had to work around that and uh, as I'm talking about the dust extractor you can see here I have multiples um, uh, 22 and a half degree uh, corners uh, and then a straight one down there and then another uh, corner I'll try to show you here maybe you can maybe you can see it down there and uh, then it's again straight pipe up to to here so I try to reduce the um, junctions and the uh, bends and everything and uh, I really like the the suction on the hood when it's only the the hood running or the bends are. so I never have the both machines running there's no point in that so I have either the bends and the dust extractor or the lathe and the dust extractor and the, the amount of suction here that I get is tremendous I I mean it's it's excellent it wants to drag your hand inside so it's really powerful unit and um, i'm extremely happy this is probably my best investment so far uh, mostly because uh, of the health which uh, to be honest i from the last few months uh, when i did a lot of bowls uh, and sanding um, i did get sort of a irritation for for a wood dust and uh, I've been around the wood dust and everything from age of 15 so 17 years now and never had this problem but until the last few months so this was um, the must-have uh, addition and uh, upgrade so by the way this unit was uh, 480 euros I believe and um, 180 euros i believe the cart cartridge was um, and um, i gotta say i i never ordered anything from axminster uh, but uh, so uh, from the uk so from the england uh, to croatia in just three days so i'm i'm i was baffled by that and and i mean you know well, I was extremely pleased with the, and everything was uh, at the checkout. So everything from the customs and every, every expense that you that you might have, uh, like if you're ordering from another country, uh, which is not in EU, uh, then uh, you got customs to pay additionally and everything. This was all covered in the checkout, and uh, all I had to do when the van arrived is. Uh, pick it up and that's it. like I said if I'm not using the uh, the lathe and uh, for this amount of air to be moved uh, I need the best suction I can have um, but if I'm using just joiner planer and uh, table saw uh, I will most definitely be uh, upgrading to, to this uh, because it does cut um, most of the shavings and dust uh, before even reaches the the dust extractor here is the the storage for all the tools and uh, at some point i'm going to uh, ditch this it's just too too too, too deep and uh, and uh, i'll just give you a little sneak peek inside so you'll see in separate video uh about this and and this as well 
and this. But that's for for another video. <laughs> uh, this is my camera setup. Usually I have used a tripod like this, um, but it was too much nuance to to get it and to get the right shot that I wanted uh, without uh, interfering with me. So what I've come up with was this old lamp uh, stand, which uh, I might even upgrade to something a little bit better. But what I've done here, this is from the tripod, this uh, plastic black stuff, and I turned this walnut um, spindle here, which you can see here. It's routed in such a way so the screw will uh, go inside and it will lock and it can't come off. So that can be moved pretty much in any position and uh, I can put it above uh, my pad and uh, it doesn't interfere with my movement of the body or the hands uh, and uh, as well I can get really close-up shots which I want to do as well in the future uh, to show you how the tools are cutting and everything so um, up here I have this is the calipers I was given by the Gurtu company extremely nice to use so on this end you have this uh, what it's called legs let's say and on this side there is a scale so it works extremely well uh, this section here it's a drill bit for the depth guide some of the ca um, vernier calipers uh, screwdrivers stuff like that so th this i'll have to sort out uh, the lamp obviously which another thing I would like to get is a LED or even it doesn't have to be LED but with a gooseneck the magnetic one I think that will be quite good um, calipers um, dividers sorry uh, these ones are set to chuck and these are free to extend or uh, put together for various um, markings and everything and um, in this cabinet I have uh, sandpaper, this is from Indasa, Rhino Grip uh, with uh, Velcro back, so I cut these for the uh, for the 3 inch disc and uh, actually uh, it's on the way, uh, the new paper, at least new paper, uh, cloth back paper for me for the hand sanding, um, so that would be nice to try out. Uh, some of the finishes, the old, all this oil is here, the CA glue, uh, scratch, uh, not scratch, uh, scotch bright pad, and uh, some of the accelerator uh, shop towels, and uh, and uh, this was actually sent to me, still haven't tried it, um, so it's Clamhams, uh, Clapham's, sorry, uh, beeswax polish. And I have another, uh, which is beeswax salad bowl finish. And the final one is hemp wood wax. So I was given this for free, um, not to do videos or anything, just to try it out. It's a uh, company from uh, Canada, I believe, uh, family-owned business, and um, really nice people. So they sent me to to use it. To try it out now dart board obviously you gotta have one of those uh i forgot to show you the clamps here not too many of them these are all um few of them actually are old uh tongue brand uh, clamps which are extremely durable extremely well made and um yeah so those uh push sticks uh some of these luthier clamps as well the wooden ones uh, Bensa blades here and uh, here I have an 
uh, these two bowls which I did in the video about. Uh, inside I have um, these four um, uh, bowls, round bowls to, to make the jam chocolate and uh, plastic for when I turn the wet wood so the chuck doesn't um, stain the wood. So I keep all of those stuff in, inside. Uh, so various uh, wrenches, um, these uh, key here, which I'll do a video, uh, will convert to one of these. So this is a rough and style uh, chuck key, and uh, and we'll convert one of these from a wick mark, which is quite nice to use, but much more prefer this one uh, but there is a problem with this uh, because you can uh, put too much torque on the on the um, scrolls inside and break them if you're not careful if you're like uh, apply too much pressure so two of my my uh, wick mark chucks uh, still have to make a screw chuck from this 95 mil uh, faceplate numerous uh, smaller screw chucks wooden ones and uh, yeah here some of the glue uh, wedges uh, some of from the client some uh, prototypes and such these are candle holders and uh, this is the spindle test that i did for a client as well and this is from a, a wood turner who actually from 17 years ago who taught me uh, spindle turning and this is one of his work and uh, oh, inside I have uh, this little guy which I made on the lathe so a little delicate drinking glass Here is some uh, glasses, uh, pots uh, for milk paint and um, brushes, scotch bright pads, some of the half bowls, uh, two rest which I don't use. This is the curled one. Uh, this is actually something that I've made uh, 17 years ago. So it's a guinea pig uh but you can see it's uh dovetailed so this is on my first year on uh learning the craft so okay uh i did manage to pull it out it was sort of stuck inside like i said this wasn't open in years and uh try to slide it off oh, it does work so like I see it's not finished on the inside but you can place a lot of money inside and these are partially dovetailed on each end and that slides together and now you just put the safety pin and for uh, somebody who's watching this the first time they hardly notice that it's opened like that so they can't figure out how to open it unless they cut it open um, uh, here I have um, sort of blanks uh, like uh, if I need a jam chuck or whatever uh, I have, have it here uh, some of the blanks uh, ready to go as well either for a client or uh, for videos and uh, stuff like that uh, here I have various uh, sanding attachments uh, sorby slicer is here collecting dust at the moment uh, when it's not uh, winter uh, other bits and pieces I didn't bother with this cleaning for now at least um, uh, so yeah so here I have the drill other hand tools, uh, charger, and uh, stuff like that. And uh, here 
at the moment currently I have uh, mostly spindle tools and here are uh, ball uh, gouges mostly ball gouges at some point I'll transfer all the tools here and uh, free up this uh, space so it's much more convenient to, to work that's why I put the lathe like this so I did anticipate for this to, to be moved like I said I highly recommend it at least for now um, so powerful uh, like I said I have it on the one machine at a time I mean, I mean it's the suction is tremendous I um, yeah, I'm not sure even if those measurements on the, their website are correct because this feels much much stronger uh, more more powerful unit than uh, than it is so uh, once again Axminster workshop uh, series aw 153e and uh, additional uh, cartridge filter there is a bag filter which uh, like I said I want for health reasons uh, filter to reduce all the dust uh, coming in and uh, eventually I will like I said enclose this and uh, that will be more of a sound also a dust barrier another so that would be that for the dust extractor and like I said I'm not sponsored by them uh, I did pay for the dust extractor and the cartridge filter and this um, uh, kit um, with my own money uh, after the order order they uh, contact me and uh, they give me a 5% refund so that was nice from them uh, like I said you'll see in the next few videos uh, not the four ways uh, after this video there will be a four way video uh, you'll see there is no dust extractor on it I believe um, it didn't arrive at the time so in, after that video uh, after the first you'll see other videos with the dust extractor hood in action and uh, I mean it works beautifully so Thank you for watching, thank you for your support, and uh, see you in the next video. And don't forget, if you have any questions, suggestions for the videos, uh, topics that, uh, that, that might uh, trouble you with, uh, with the late, um, feel free to, to ask, and I'll try to do my best to help you out. So.